Guys, what is going on? I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. And today we're going to be talking about new driver advice. Our learning target. Our learning target is advice for new drivers. I want to welcome you in. Testing is in progress. I want to welcome you. Let's get right into it. New drivers do a lot of light traffic light driving. What does this mean? You're not ready for the main roads. You're driving in the neighborhood. You're making five right turns, five left turns. You're practicing pulling up in front of your house. You're practicing backing in your driveway. You are practicing good stops. It's really important that your parents, your friends, and your neighborhood support you because you're learning how to drive. And it does take time. I'm going to give you some tips, strategies to help you become a safe driver. If you have questions, you put those in. Next, watch others while you drive. What does this mean? You're watching mom. You're watching dad. You're watching your uncle. You're watching your favorite driving instructor, right? It's so important. And I'm going to go over some things to help you with your test. Because when you learn how to drive, you're going to become a member of the community. I need to remind you, driving does not make you an adult. Driving teaches you that personal responsibility, just like going to school and getting a good education. So when you watch someone drive, do they have good speed control? Yes. Are they stopping at the stop line or stop bar? Yes. Are they looking left and right and left before they make their right turn? Yes. If you have questions, you put your questions in so I can answer your questions. Next, beginning drivers struggle on yielding and the right of way. I need all of you to focus on having good stops. If you have a yield sign, you have to yield. You gotta look left and right and left. If you have a stop, S-T-O-P, you gotta stop for a minimum three seconds until this car stops, then you look and check. You always wanna make sure your turns are short and smooth. Now, based on the National Highway Safety Transportation System, they said that hand-over-hand -hand turns are good for making right turns and parking. So we're going to be using the hand-over-hand -hand principle for right turns and parking. Hey, I see those hearts coming in. So you want to practice those fundamentals. You don't want anyone to rush you and you want to take your time. Parking by the curb, you need to be 12 inches or less away from the curb. If you're 12 inches or more, you could get a ticket. Steering is so important. I spoke about the National Highway Safety Transportation System. They're one of the leaders in driving, driver safety, driver education. We always want to focus on those positive, lifelong educational systems that teach all of us, including me as an instructor, how to teach, how to instruct. And you want to make sure that you're learning best practice. Now, AAA, which is a national organization, they said seven and five. This is where you have your hands lower on the steering wheel. Next, let's talk about some of the things that new drivers need to work on. You need to focus on yielding, where you slow down, where you take your time and yield. If two cars come together at the same time, the car on the right has the right of way. I want you to focus on the big five strategies. There's so much value here. First, no cell phone. Don't text. You can text later. You can call your bestie later. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing good. Next, look while you are turning. If you're making a left, I should see you turning to the left. If you're making a right, I should see you turn and look to the right. A lot of beginners are scared to look. Don't be scared. You want to use your peripheral vision. That is your side vision. Your central vision is what's ahead of you. So you want to use this. If this is bringing you value, you know what to do. Next, 
what I need you to do when you make lane changes, you check your inside mirror, your outside mirror, you use your blinker, and you look over your shoulder. If you're making a lane change to the left, you look over your left shoulder. If you're making a lane change to the right, you look over your right shoulder. Hey guys, if this is bringing you value, tell your friends. I want you to feel like this is a classroom. And what is our learning objective? We're talking about new drivers. That's our learning target for success. I'm your instructor. This is me. See that big smile? Testing is in progress. I want to welcome you. I'm a state certified instructor. I teach adults. I teach teens. I'm in the Midwest. We're trying to help you elevate to become a better driver. If you have questions, you put those questions in. You tell your friend, oh my God, he's on. He's answering questions. I am. Let's continue. Beginning drivers, drive at a safe speed for the conditions. If it's rush hour, you're driving slower. You're off the gas. You're keeping good speed and good space. I call it have good speed, good space, and a smile, right? Next, I need you to look where you are going. A lot of beginning drivers look down at the speedometer. They stare. See what's going on. Look in your driving environment. Hey, how you doing? Look in your driving environment. It could be a high school parking lot. It could be your neighborhood. It could be downtown Detroit, Michigan downtown Houston, Texas, downtown Atlanta, Georgia, downtown Los Angeles, California. Whatever your driving environment is, adjust your speed and defensive driving strategies to those conditions. Next, what I need you to do is not scare your parents. A lot of beginners slam brakes or they pull out in front of traffic. If you scare mom and dad, they're not going to want to drive with you anymore. So, Tell mom and dad, mom, dad, I'm learning how to drive. Please be patient with me and your parent will come around. Here's another pro tip. Whoever's in the passenger seat is your coach. Whoever's in the back seat, they have to listen. So you want to decide, is it going to be mom? Is it going to be dad? Well, whoever's in the front, they should be the ones coaching you and instructing you. Next, I need you to keep a lot of room when pulling out in traffic. A gap, not a gap for your teeth, but a gap is a space, a space between cars. Beginning drivers, believe it or not, have a difficult time judging speed and distance. So what does this mean? You're going to pull out in front of a car. Don't do that. Wait until it's clear. Take your time. T I M. E. If you have questions, you need to be putting those questions in. Hey, how are you? Next, new drivers need to learn how to judge speed and distance. They need verbal instructions. You need to be listening for your coach. Whatever your coach tells you to do, whoever's in the front seat is your coach. Hey guys, how are you? If your coach says, I need you to make a left turn at the next light, you turn on your blinker, mirror, turn signal, blind spot, you merge into the middle, you get into the lane for left turns only. And when your coach tells you to go, you check to make sure it's clear. And when it's clear, you go, hey, I'm at 1K likes. Let's keep it going, baby. If you have questions, put it in. Hey, how are you? Let's keep going. How critical is parallel parking for the driving test? You have to know how to parallel park or you won't pass. That's critical. Facts. Real life. Next, you need a lot of verbal instruction. So your dad should be talking to you. Your uncle should be talking to you. Your mom. But you only need one coach. And that coach is going to support you. Good coaches are patient. What is our learning target for success? We're talking about tips and advice for new drivers. I'm a state certified driving instructor. Testing is in progress. That's me. See that big smile. Welcome in. We're talking about driving advice for new drivers. Let's continue.
Let's keep learning. Put those questions in. Don't assume that beginning drivers know what to do because you don't. You need to have someone there. It could be your bestie, but it's got to be someone over 21 to help you, to coach you, to prepare you. Let's talk about your coach. What should your coach be doing? Your coach should be patient. They shouldn't be screaming at you. They should be nice to you, not yelling when you make a mistake. What is a mistake? You slam brakes. You don't stop at a stop sign. They tell you to turn left, you turn right. We all are learning. Be patient. Good coaches have conversations with you. Like I'm having a conversation. Hello, hey, how are you doing? Hello, Mary. Good coaches have conversations with you. Like I'm having a conversation with you. They are very considerate. I am so appreciative of all of you right now. And I'm so appreciative of you to educate you about driver's education. They share funny stories. Driving in your neighborhood can be really fun. You pass by your best friend's house. You used to walk there when you were younger in middle school or high school. I'm doing well, thank you for asking me. What about yourself? I'm doing pretty good, Mary. Feeling pretty good. Summer's here. Going to be driving a lot of adults, a lot of teens, talking about safe driving practices. So it's going pretty good. Thank you for showing care and love. That really means a lot. All of you should show more care and love right now. Um, good instructors, good coaches are positive, giving you good support. They always remind you to do things constantly. I need you to turn. I need you to cover your brake. I need you to push the gas because driving is very dynamic. Things change all the time. So I need you to be ready in case you're in a neighborhood and covering your brake if a little kid comes out in front of you. You have to be a defensive driver. If you're in your high school parking lot, you really have to be safe and be that defensive driver. Good coaches always remind you to do things constantly. I'm trying to be a good coach for all of you. Hi, how are you? They always remind you to fix your mistakes and get better as you grow as a driver. And that's why I'm on here to help all of you get better, to see how you're doing so I can better serve you as an instructor. In the classroom, they allow you to work on your packets. They show you where to look. A lot of beginners get nervous. You'll forget, this is my left hand. This is my right hand. Your coach may say, go right, you go left. Your coach may say, stop, you hit the gas. Hey, Antonio, how are you? So what I need you to do is relax and take your time. Hey, what is our learning target for success? We're talking about advice for beginning drivers. I'm a state certified driving instructor. I'm in the Midwest. I need you to put in more comments, more questions. I'm trying to get to 2K. I need your help. Help me reach my goal. This is me. Testing is in progress. I want to welcome you in. Do you have any advice on getting used to the gas pedal? You want to wear thin sole shoes. Crocs are good, not sponsored. Adidas are good, not sponsored. Nikes, Jordans, they're okay, but they're a little thick. You want a thin sole shoe so you can feel the gas and brake. I love that question. Drop a diamond, drop a like. Let's continue talking about driver's education. Driver's education is a formal program or course that is designed to teach individuals how to operate a motor vehicle, to operate safely. I'm your virtual instructor. Ask questions. I can support you. You follow me, you're going to get value. Number two, a driver's education typically includes in-car, instruction and behind the wheel. What is the best way to go for the knowledge test? Uh, I have some other learning tools that I'll be putting together. You need to look on your state website if you're in Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, wherever you're from. Usually they give you a sample practice test. Good question. The goal of driver's education is to prepare new drivers for the challenges of the road and help reduce the number of accidents. Okay, I'm in the Midwest. 
I love the questions. Uh, how do you know you're a good distance point before your stop? You want to slow down and roll up about 200 feet. You want to squeeze the brake. Yeah, I taught you in segment two. What's up? How are you doing? I have a goal. I need to hit 2K. I'm at 1.7K. I need all of you to help me reach that goal. If I answer your question, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a rose. Let's continue. Driver's education courses cover all topics such as traffic laws, defensive driving techniques, the dangers of distracted driving. Next, many high schools offer driver's education courses as part of their curriculum and students may be required to complete these courses in order to obtain their license. So some states still do driver's education at the high school level, community college. If you can get enrolled in a driver's education program, you'll learn more. Next, in addition to high school programs, I'm 18 and held my permit by one month. Do I have to wait for the road test? No. If you've held it for 30 days and you feel comfortable parallel parking, merging an expressway, hey, I'm in two over 2K, I love you guys. Let's keep it going. Let's hit 3K. Um, so if you've had it for 30 days and you feel comfortable parking, merging, left turns, right turns, lane changing, three point turnarounds, then go take that road test. If you feel you need more practice, then practice some more. You want to make sure you are comfortable and confident. That is so important that you're comfortable and confident. Keep going, guys. The only thing is that I'm bad at parking. Then you have to practice your parking. Practice in front of your house. Go to an empty parking lot. Go to a downtown area where there's room so you can practice your maneuverability skills. I got my license. Driving in a big city is terrifying. It is. Gradual exposure. I love these questions. My goal is to get to 3K. You really are out there uh, saving life. Yes, because I really find value in teaching driver's education. I'm a firm believer. I had great teachers, great instructors. I'm a car enthusiast. I love cars. Thank you for the rose. Let's keep going. Many high schools offer a driver's education program as a part of their curriculum. And students may be required to complete these courses to obtain their license. We had a student who was saying, hey, I'm over 18. Typically, some driver's education programs offer advanced courses for experienced drivers, such as defensive driving. I just needed my license to get a boxing class. I understand. Get that license. When you're ready, go take that road test. I have some content on that. State driver education requirements vary from state to state and country to country. And with different jurisdictions, they have different requirements and standards. Texas is different than Nebraska. Michigan is different than Oklahoma. Oklahoma is different than Kansas. The biggest issue is remembering a good distance. Once you drive more, slow down sooner then you think, oh my God, I'm over 3K. I love you guys. Let's keep going. Slow down sooner than you think you need to. Squeeze the brake. Use the ball of your foot. Some driver's education courses offer ski control, defensive driving. Research has shown that uh, completing a driver's education course can lead to safer driving behaviors and reduce crash risk among drivers. Guys and ladies, I want to say I love you. I appreciate you. I will talk to you later. Bye.